Hello everyone, my name is Mars and this, this is an eraser. Now, all of you must be wondering why am I doing a video about erasers of all the entire things in the universe. Why I'm doing a video about eraser? Well, could you ask? Even though you didn't. Um, so, I found this video. Apparently, you can make this eraser into a kneaded eraser. So, kneaded erasers are those squishy erasers that you can mold like clay. And apparently, you can turn this into that. So, we are gonna look at that today. So, yeah. However, I'm not gonna use this because I'm using this on my drawing. So, we're not gonna use this eraser. But, I have a few candidates for this a uh, small project thingy. I mean, small. I mean, what do I mean? <laughs> attempt. Yeah, that that is that is semestra. Yeah, attempt to make needed erasers. Okay. So I don't even know what I said, but here we are. Let's do this. So here are our candidates in today's show. The red ones are pulled from random pencils. This one is a Faber Castell gray eraser. I really like this one because it does a clean job at erasing. This one is an eraser I found while rummaging in my room. I actually prefer the black version of this brand. And this one... Heaven knows where I got this because I can't remember. The video said anything with an adhesive parts like a post-it note will work but why would I make my life harder when I have tape? So yeah, I'll be using a masking tape for this because they are inexpensive and good for being sacrificial lamps. Let me just pull a strip like so. I tried to do two strips at a time but that is not a good idea on my end. So what we need to do based on the video is rub the eraser on the adhesive side of the tape. Rubbing it and rubbing. Ugh. Let me just switch hands. Well, there's a mess of eraser dust around so let me just run my fingers around the adhesives and see if we can form something here. You know what? Let me just try if filing the eraser first and then rubbing it to the adhesive works better. I feel like I'm getting nowhere in this. Okay, after some finagling with this for half an hour, no exaggeration there, I finally made a tiny red eraser ball. If you notice, it's squishy and I can roll it fairly easily. I'm honestly surprised that this is working. Some of you might have known this for years, but this is the first time I've heard of this, so give me a break here. Okay, time to move on the gray eraser. My curious brain started to wonder if using white glue will yield a result. As I try this, I'm starting to get some concerns because I know that glues dry up fairly hard-ish. Um, not squishy. Yeah, that's what I meant. So, this might have been a bit of resistance, but yo, I somehow made a ball out of this, so that's good. I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of the eraser, so here are the end results. I only made a small ball for each of them because, god, my fingers hurt from all the rubbing I had to do, but hey, we're going to test all of this. Now, I am an artist, but I'm not exactly an expert in pencil portraiture as I prefer to work on digital media. Please don't hate me, I, I really love those control Zs. But I will gauge them based on their erasing power and how good they can absorb the graphite. I made a nice simple sheet for testing this, starting off with the red eraser. I tried erasing with this but it was too soft for my liking so I can't really put enough force to get a clean erase. In terms of absorbing graphite, it's fairly decent and you'd probably be able to use them in detailing just fine. 
Next is the gray eraser without the white glue. Oh wow, I can't even force my hand into this. It works really good when you're just dabbing it to the graphite, but not when rubbing them. Okay, now for the other gray eraser that I formed with white glue. I have to say, it is way firmer than the other two. I can get a good force in my hand when rubbing them so I can get a clean erase. It's hard to mold than the other two so detailing might not be so good with this. While the faster brand can be used to erase decently, I don't think it absorbs graphite well when dabbing. So, it's a meh for me. Lastly, let's test the unnamed eraser. It's firmer than the faster one but not as firm as the white blue gray eraser so I can still mold it well. It's fairly decent when dabbing it with the graphite. For good measure, I also tested the Stadler eraser I've been using for my drawings. I'm honestly not fond of white erasers because it tends to leave a bad smudge if you don't give it a clean. Also, if you rub it too much, it can ruin the paper which is not good. But it does get the job done which is honestly just erasing my draft sketches. All in all, the winner for me surprisingly is the unnamed eraser. Holy cow! I did not expect it. I really can't remember where I got it and if you noticed earlier, I obviously did not use it at all but maybe I'll be able to use that when I convert the entire thing to the needed version. I really enjoyed making this and I learned some stuff too which is great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Just a quick update, so it's the next day and the eraser I molded with the glue firmed up even further. It's squishy but you can't really mold it anymore unlike the others or so. so that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, bye.